told us to make it easy on the dead gentleman but well, he's told us he said there's true phrases if you say this subhanallah if you say this subhanallah wa bihamdihi say subhanallah al azim right now say it with me together a few times so you remember it okay subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah al azim Subhanallah wa bihamdihi Subhanallah al azim Subhanallah wa bihamdihi Subhanallah al azim But if you, you that, that wasn't bid, that was it? No. No, it wasn't. But if I do it like this Subhanallah wa bihamdihi Subhanallah al azim Does that become bidah? No, it doesn't, man. No, it doesn't, right? Bidah. I remember yeah, going to Hajj. You know, go to Hajj and everyone's saying, go to Hajj. And they say, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik, Labbaik la sharika laka Labbaik, inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wa al-mulk, la sharika laka, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik. You've heard that, right? You've heard the tune over you. You think the guy's going to finish and take a clash to go out after that, you know? It's like military. Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik, Labbaik la sharika laka Labbaik, you better not mess with me, otherwise I'll kill you. I'm in Hajj, I'm in Hajj. Some people are in Hajj, I tell you. I tell you, some people in Hajj, you want to stay away from them. <laughs> Seriously, I've been in Hajj five times, yeah? Some people just stay away from them. The guy is in a temper because you know why? Because you know his mattress he had home, he hasn't got it in Hajj. <laughs> That's his real problem. You know the, you know the uh, sad ghost he had at home? He hasn't got it here in Hajj. And he's got a real problem with that. He hasn't had food. But this food, man, they give him nuns every day, they're winding him up. It's like, I have this for breakfast now when I go to Bangladesh. You give me nuns and breakfast, seriously, that's the problem, right? So some people in the Hajj, you've got a serious problem. And it's not just men. Seriously, you know women, I'm not saying this to you, sisters, you know, but some women, seriously, I've been hit more by women than Hajj. Than, 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 seriously. And the thing is, when you go to Hajj, right, you know, when you go into like, you know, the certain doors, right, you come across certain groups of women, right? The thing is, women, they know no man's gonna touch them. So what do they do? They start going like this. And they elbow, bang, 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 you know? It's like, you know, you gotta forgive me, brother. Oh, that felt good. Brother, it's Hajj, like, poo, get out of my way, because you can't touch me. And the thing is, they seriously tell me, I've been here honestly by my rape vibes, more sisters than men, but men do it as well, right? The worst thing, you know what the men the worst is? Men the worst is when you go around the tawaf here, you know, I tell you, you want to go to Hajj, you're trying to like concentrate, you're trying to like, you know, do your, do your nice Hajj properly, like that. you know, they come to that, that green line, you know, the green line, and they're all going to say, Allah, right? Allah, and basically, it's nice and hot out there, Allah, but everyone's together, you're sweaty and all of that, and the moment you go to that green line, and all the brothers go, Bismillah, Allah, and all the, you know, <laughs> 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 please, take it easy. Please, I might become shaheed here, you know? I'm Allah. Seriously. So please, brother, look after yourself, you know? You can just just take, take it easy, alright? When you feel like you might have to go like that, you know? You just go like that. Please keep it yourself, please. So anyway, I want to say to you, right, they might have a serious problem with you, but the thing is, when you go to a hajj, right? When you go to a hajj, when you're at these places, and you're basically doing all of that, you hear that Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik Labbaik and you think the military style, right? And you, the thing is, no one questions it. No one says, where did that tune come from, do they? No one ever, no one ever says that. What, are, what are you doing different tunes? So I'm, I'm in the tunnel of Mina, the tun tunnel coming back from Mina. And on the way, you know, everyone's saying Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik and you look to it. And then I come across this Malaysian group. And this Malaysian group, yeah, as they're walking, they go, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik. I go, yeah. <laughs> Someone's alive. You're gonna have to follow the tune, do you? So anyway, I'm gonna get back to Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al azim. We're gonna say Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah. I don't care whether you say Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al azim. We're gonna say Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al azim. Because when you say that, 
These are two phrases that are most beloved to the Rahman. These are the most heaviest words on your scales on the Day of Judgment. Allah. They are what? Very light on the tongue. Three things Messenger of Allah said. He said, most beloved to the Rahman. He said, most weighty on the Day of Judgment on your scales. And third thing he says, most light on your tongue. What are you going to say? Say, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi.